everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we do have another fantasy booking video for you guys, and I'm excited for this one. We're going to have the Universal Championship on the line between the Beast Incarnate, the Reign of Terror lives on right here. We got Brock Lesnar defending his Universal Championship versus the man, my boy, Seth freaking Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins of course overcame 29 other men in the Men's Royal Rumble this year overcame the odds, eliminated Braun Strowman, hit him with that curb stomp on the last elimination on the apron and he is headed to the main event of Wrestlemania actually, take that back, it's not going to be the main event of Wrestlemania, it's just going to be the Universal Championship match because we all know Charlotte and Becky are going to main event with Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's Championship. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give you my fantasy booking idea for the Universal Championship match at WrestleMania 35. So before we even get into the matchup and how I would book the thing, this is what I think is going to go down. Obviously, Brock Lesnar, when he wants to work with somebody, he goes to work, guys. We've seen it in the past with guys, even like Seth Rollins. We've seen it in the past with Seth Rollins. We've seen it in the past with Daniel Bryan, AJ Styles, Finn Balor. Guys, he will show up to work. If you give him a match that he cares about, not Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania 32, what the hell was that? If you actually give him a match that the man cares about and he actually is invested into the match, he will bring a good match out of somebody and I think he's actually really underrated in that category. I think a lot of people give him crap because he doesn't show up to work, but to be honest with you guys, I mean, I think that it works better for his part-time character. It builds him up more as a heel and it just plays into him well. I mean, if he showed up every week, what would be the draw power in Brock Lesnar? I know he's a freaking ultimate force, but I think it, it, it does well for it. I want the Universal title on Monday Night Raw every week, but I think it works for a guy like Brock Lesnar. But getting back to the match for WrestleMania between him and Seth Rollins, I think that this is going to be another one of those matches, and I hope they sort of change it up a little bit. I know that Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles matchup was pretty similar. Finn Balor, they went a different route. You know, they had, you know, the injury angle where the, the, the stomach of Brock Lesnar hit the side of that announce table. I think they'll go a bit longer. Hopefully it's the Finn Balor matchup, but a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more put on it. Since it's WrestleMania, I think it should go at least 15, 20 minutes at least. I think the Finn Balor matchup maybe went eight or nine minutes, so hopefully they give him some more match, uh, some more time here. But uh, I think that that's the way they're going to book it. Maybe very similar to the Finn Balor matchup. I don't think they need to go the route of, you know, having Brock beat down Seth forever and then him come back. Since we've seen it so many times, I think they should go a different route with it. Maybe play up the Finn Balor matchup a little bit, but like I said, extend it further. So at WrestleMania, we are going to have Seth Rollins and Brock Lesnar, and obviously they need to drag this match out. They need to have multiple near falls, not only for Seth Rollins to lose, but also Brock Lesnar. I think they need to have the crowd on edge as much as possible, and hopefully they have a come down match for after this. Hopefully nothing with Nicholas involved, but something similar to those. I, I hope we get some near falls and stuff like that, and they build up this match. And they don't just end it out of nowhere or whatever. I hope they give us an on-edge ending to this thing. So at the end of our matchup, guys, Brock Lesnar will ultimately fall to the Beast Slayer. Seth freaking Rollins will hit the curb stomp on the Universal Championship after some shenanigans and stuff. Maybe it'll even be a no DQ match, but for my fantasy booking, uh, maybe some shenanigans happen where the title gets involved. Maybe Brock Lesnar is trying to put away Seth. The referee gets bumped to the ground, and Seth Rollins hits that curb stomp on the Universal Championship, bringing everything right in the WWE Universe, and Brock Lesnar is pinned in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. Seth Rollins is your new Universal Champion, so Brock Lesnar will be finally dethroned. He'll be down right here. You know, he's laid flat, curb stomp and all. Honestly, if it were me fantasy booking it entirely, I would totally have, you know, the, uh, I would have some blood shed in this matchup, but, you know, we can't always have what we want. So, Seth Rollins will overcome the beast there and win the Universal Championship, but that is not where this story ends, ladies and gentlemen. No, it is not. This is not where it goes at all. As you people know, there are heavy rumors going around about AEW. A lot of wrestling talent leaving for AEW. A lot of wrestling talent rumored to be interested in AEW. Even Brock Lesnar is interested in AEW, and, and honestly, or that's the rumors going around, therefore, but Anyways, we're, we're just talking about a specific person and somebody they've even booked in storyline, and that is Dean Ambrose. And I think that after the Beast Slayer has conquered the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins is going to be celebrating in the middle of the ring, and you know what? Dean Ambrose's music is going to hit. Dean Ambrose comes out to the ring, and uh, everybody's confused, everybody's whatever. Dean Ambrose gets inside the ring, and he's just staring at Seth. He kind of gets in Seth's face a little bit. They're standing around and then this man's music hits. The big dog, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns comes down to the ring, 
and all three men are there in the middle. The Shield brothers are together once again here at WrestleMania 35. I know it's not the main event. It would work better for the main event, but we all know Becky, Charlotte, and Ronda have the main event pretty much secured. It's, it's pretty much done, and this is how it's going to be. Dean Ambrose's music hits. He comes out. Roman Reigns' music hits. He comes out, and all three men embrace in the middle of the ring. They hug in the middle of the ring, and they hit the shield fist bump one more time in the middle of the ring. All is right in the world. Seth Rollins has won the Universal Championship. Roman Reigns is still away battling his illness and Dean Ambrose is leaving for AEW or leaving the WWE as they have said it on their website. If it's not a storyline, I don't think it's a storyline. Dean Ambrose will ride away into the sunset. Seth Rollins will be the top guy on Monday Night Raw's Universal Champion and Roman Reigns, we will await his return, but the Shield is no more. For now, the shield is done, and this will be their final moment in the sunset. After many failed attempts to get off the ground, the shield will finally fist bump one more time at WrestleMania 35, and that will be it. They will all embrace. There will be no announcements. There will be nothing. They will just all three hug, and that will be it. A shield bump into the sunset for Dean Ambrose to walk away from WWE as it's rumored. Seth Rollins to continue as the top guy and Roman Reigns to, uh, you know, battle his illness until he's ready to fully come back and that will be it. That is pretty much what I'm saying. I think that's what they're going to do. I mean, Dean Ambrose, they even announced it on WWE's Twitter and everything, the website that he is leaving after WrestleMania 35 and Roman Reigns, obviously, I, I, I know that he's going to come back one day. But we're still awaiting that, so until that day, um, the Shield's going to be split up. I mean, if Dean Ambrose leaves, it's for sure that the Shield will be gone. Seth Rollins, obviously, will continue being him, burning it down every Monday night. We'll get a full-time champion. It will be beautiful to see my boy carrying around the Universal title. Maybe we'll get a heel Finn Balor versus Seth. Maybe we'll get some other good heels going on with Seth Rollins and mixing it up. Hopefully, Brock Lesnar honestly leaves and goes away. I mean, he's not going to be a full-time talent. Why not just let him venture off UFC, AEW, whatever the hell he wants to do. Just let Brock Lesnar do him, and Seth Rollins can hold it down on Monday Night Raw. Maybe get those NXT call-ups up here, and we will be all right in the world. Can you imagine a Ciampa versus Seth, or a, or a, I know that Aleister Black and Ricochet are faces, but still, I mean, you can still mix it up. Johnny Gargano can still be a heel. I don't know. I mean, we, we, there's tons of talent running around that uh, they could put up on the main roster, and Seth Rollins could run it, mix it up with over there on Monday Night Raw, but that pretty much does it for today's fantasy booking video. I know it's not really much fantasy booking. I pretty much told you Seth Rollins wins and then the Shield come out. I mean, that's pretty much the basis of it. I didn't really give you anything in depth in depth, but I think that would be a pretty cool moment to see the Shield reunite one last time in the middle of the ring, especially with the Dean Ambrose rumors. Roman Reigns not fully back yet and Seth Rollins all alone. No Shield talent around him on Monday Night Raw for the first time in a long time, so that is what I think, guys. I would love to know your thoughts. What do you think about my Shield reunion at the end of WrestleMania 35 before they all ride off onto their own paths? It's, I would love to know your thoughts down below. I would love to know what you think overall. Do you think Seth Rollins could retain? I think that a lot of people think that Brock Lesnar could retain the Universal Championship, which I think would be absolutely massive mistake, number one. But... I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think down below. I think it's kind of cool. We set back up in the ring. This is the first time we've done an in-ring video in a long time. I cannot remember the last time we did an in-the-ring, in-the-actual MDT Arena video. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Let me know down below what you think of the fantasy booking idea. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.